Well, and thanks for joining us on TVC News this hour. We begin in Oshu State, where some human rights activists have commended the National Judicial Council for not allowing politicians to usurp its uh, duties and responsibilities. Reacting to the NJC's uh, resolution at its 104th meeting, recognizing Adepalo Ojo as the chief judge of Oshu State, the human rights activists appealed to politicians to toe the line of law in taking decisions. Our correspondent, Rafi Hamid, reports. A few weeks ago, the Oshu State government told the state chief judge, Adepo Eluju, to step aside over allegations of corruption leveled against her, and also heard that, that the next in rank to her, David Afolabi, be sworn in the following day. In a statement by the spokesperson to the governor, Olawale Rashid, the government took the decision in line with the resolution of the state assembly. The development generated a number of reactions from residents who described the action of the state governor as unfortunate. At the 104th meeting of the NJC, the council says Adepo Elojo remains the state chief judge. The chairman, civil society's coalition in Oshun State, Waid Lawal, described the government's action as hasty and commended the judiciary for being firm. Writing NJC requesting and them to grant you permission to sworn in the next thing in rank is an absurd. It's, it's not done anywhere. So, the issue you know, of NJC is the best at, at this material. NJC has not said, I think Lujo does not commit any, any offense. But they have not seen proper petition against the, against the woman. And if there is proper petition, they, they should allow the law to take its full course. There should be no shortcut to that matter. A rights activist. Ayolugun said many Nigerians who were against the state government's decision on the suspension of the chief judge are now vindicated. The release that was made by the NGC yesterday, it was clear. The NGC did not say that um, she has not committed any infraction. The NGC did not say she's clean. But the NGC made it clear in that release that they would not act on the decision of the House of Assembly in Oshun or the governor because they are not empowered by the law to be the one to investigate and find out guilty or otherwise. Since the suspension of Adepe Liuju as the chief judge of Oshun State, which was followed by the strike action embarked upon by the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, no proceeding has taken place as courts in the state have been shot. We should consider that a lot of lives are involved. Some should have been released from jail, some should have their bail condition perfected. Even ordinary, ordinary affidavits will become a, a big deal because you have to look for alternative means to have it done. So it is not in the best interest of the people that the judiciary or the courts have been shot. Members of Johnson had staged a protest against the chief judge, which led to firing of tear gas by the police. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Oshobo.